second Republic lawmaker from Kano State, Dr. Junai Mohammed, is dead. I'm sure a lot of people have been hearing about this man. I'm so, so, so surprised. You can see, you see this life? It is good to be good. Mohammed, who trained as a medical doctor, died on Thursday in Kano. Sarah reporters has gathered. His brother, Dr. Ahmed Salik, a former lecturer with the Bayero University, Kano, and a former member of the House of Representatives, confirmed his death. Unconfirmed sources, however, said he died at an isolation center. His burial is expected to be announced by the family soon. Minister of Investment and Trade, Otumba Adeni Adebayo, and other sympathizers visited the deceased house in Kano to sympathize with the family. The Soviet-trained medical doctor was elected to the National Assembly in 1979 on the People's Redemption Party's platform. Wow. Like, seriously? <laughs> this is this is serious. Any man making money or happy for what is happening to innocent Nigerians will keep on dying from COVID. Hmm. Junai Mohammed was not a true critic, as you may have been wrongly led to know. He is in the opposing camp with true intention to confuse and deceive the victims. It is not easy to detect this type of people among Fulanis who have common agenda. Buhari should as well get prepared, okay? Confused and unstable man is gone. Today he praises Buhari, tomorrow he criticizes. He criticizes. Very difficult to understand. Oh, one man down. Can you imagine? He played a role of an opposition, a role of an opposition which this country lacks. May Allah accept his soul and forgive his shortcomings. For those mocking his dead, they must also die one day. That is how all of them will go down, go for the evil criticism that they can hardly defend against a person really doing his best with a merge, mega resources for the country. More are coming by the grace of God. Hmm. Rest in peace to Junai Mohammed until he is dead. He played a very good opposition party which Nigeria lacks and still lacking. A lone voice of conscience is gone. Is there going to be a replacement the way they are going in the northern nigeria sad for nigeria rest in peace this man was straightforward and very sincere in telling government the truth those that said Igbo man will not rule this this uh, country and they won't allow biafra to be actualized they are the one where are they now staunch buari christus jr has joined his ancestors greater loss to his family political class especially opposition being the late was an uncompromised position and also to nma as a trained soviet sojourn hmm. no man will live forever we should give value of humanity and bequeath positive legacies junai mohammed a man notorious for talking as tough he was god is dead this was a man that was making a threatful comment on national dailies blood will flow we would make nigeria ungovernable if Buhari did not emerge as president in 2015 evil partner of the evil genius running this country he will only become Buhari's enemy when train passed in between them he is one of the poacher that invited devils in human form into this country few years back and all because they wanted presidency they got it and there was a country hmm. it was a staunch critic of pmb government he was a straightforward and upright man may god grant his soul eternal rest and console his family those that said that they would not live to see biafra come and going one by one one is down <laughs> there are mixed reactions some people believe that they he was never criticizing Buhari to the favor of Nigerians. Some people said, oh, he was pretending. Some people said, oh, he was a straightforward man. Whichever we both... Because I know that he was always coming himself and a uh, uh, Yakasai. Thank you, Yakasai. At times, you cannot even really understand them. Well, may God... Oh, my God. World, nothing is permanent. In this world, is one of the strong voices in the northern Nigeria. We will surely miss him. May so rest in peace. If you are an enemy of Buari, your disgrace is near. Hmm. Authentic news. 
In 2018, this man said over his dead body for Biafra to come, not when he's alive. Indeed, Biafra is his spirit's nest. Over your dead body, that Biafra will be. May your life come back to you to see Biafra progress. Hmm. It was the man that vowed to make Nigeria ungovernable for Jonathan in 2011. How did he become Buhari's critics after working with him and used Boko Haram to undermine Jonathan's administration? Bukola Saraki is now begging Jonathan not to leave PDP after working against him in 2014 just because he is out of the game. Same way he joined forces with Northern Bigots and pushed Jonathan out of the game. If anything goes wrong now, people will also call him Buhari's critics. Anyways, how are the mighty falling? Hmm. He said over his dead body will Biafra come, Junai Mohammed in 2018. And I hope now he has realized that Biafra is a spirit. Can you imagine? He shows Buhari's God is great. Life doesn't extend forever. Death is the corporate with COVID together. Laugh at the dead at your peri. Everyone's time will come. Painful, painful, painful. May Allah accept his soul, console his family, and accept his departed gentle soul in Janatsu. Uh, Fidos, Fidos, whichever way. They should continue from where they stopped in the afterlife. They will be going down one after the other. Who is next? Now let him prepare because the spirits annoyed and must fulfill the assignment. Over your dead body will Biafra come. May God speedily answer the remaining people. Hmm. Over his dead body. Can you imagine? May his soul rest in peace. He spoke the truth no matter how bitter it is. Was a great loss. Death is inevitable. Both the poor and the rich we taste it, it doesn't discriminate or stereotype before striking the next target. It is a regrettable and shocking death. May you so rest in peace. Of, of course, I was so surprised when I heard it. So, 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 so surprised. Honestly, can you imagine? So, so, so surprised. <clears throat> and for the fact that a lot of people are now quoting him that he said over his dead body. How, how can people be using it in their life? For what you don't even know what God has in stock for people. Is unfortunate. Fake critic Buari does not have any genuine critic from his tribe. May his gentle soul rest in peace. See them. See them. The Nigerian should we Nigerians should learn to wish any evil man bad when they are gone. Stop all this pity nonsense. These decisions have killed this have killed many people. Rest in hell. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that is it. That is it. Oh, that is it. That is it.